This is so scout. <laughs> I, I literally looked at it for a second and it's like, oh wow, okay, so half your art thing is showing and then half of mine is showing. Okay, maybe this fixes it? Okay. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. Property. Uh, I see mine right here. Okay. Do we get do we get mine? How about mine? How about how about my paint 3D? Your paint 3D. You're painting all 3Ds? Is it because I named it? Is it because I named my thing MS Paint when it's actually Paint through? Okay, hold on. Window, are you gonna capture? Do I have to? All right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I guess we just chat a bit while I figure this out. That's okay. Welcome. How have you been? How have you all been? How have you been, Odell? I've been all right. I've been all right. Oh, I see. I see some people in the chat. Oh, why am I? Why am I shrinking? I don't know. Yes, why, why am I shrinking? This is your fault. Uh, you're turning into your cannon height, actually. <gasps> Excuse you. Excuse yeah. me. I will not stand. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> you brat. Aren't you I like... graciously came all the way over here. Five, four. <laughs> Five, five, six? Five, seven? Five, nine. Oh, five, one, I see. No, no. <laughs> oh, it works! Oh my god. I can't believe I activated your drawing program. Yeah, you ate it on accident. Nice. Let me make my canvas a little bit bigger. Can't believe this was our canon event. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about how they're set up. Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't figure out a better way to put these on screen. Uh, I guess there's some space for chat in the middle. All right, one second. Let me grab chat. I hope chat's working today. I hope stream elements chat box is working today. That'd be great. That'd be pretty cool. Oh. A little big. Alright. Uh, chat box, chat five, art, boom. Kind of large, that's okay. I'll just make it smaller. I didn't think I would have room for this chat, but it looks like we do right now, so. It'll just be very odd because it's in the middle. Oh, excellent. This means that I'll have some intelligent people to talk to. Hey! Uh, hey! Ah. Alright. There you go. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Oh, it works! Chat works today. Is That's great. A little whale? Oh, wait, no, it's not a whale. That's your hat. It is my hat. There, 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 there's a beautiful orca hat. Yeah. They're like my uh, hat holder. Mm -hmm. It's like a hat hanger. Yeah. Oh, wait, how come they get to hold your hat? I don't. Because you're gonna. You're gonna eat it. I don't. Chat just chat is nice with my hat and with CL. Okay, to be fair, I would never harm a hair on CL's head. CL doesn't have hair. That doesn't Exactly. <laughs> that doesn't mean very much. Alright. Yeah. How's the volume everyone? Just checking it. I think Odell could be a little louder from what I see, but I'm not actually sure. Here, I'll Crank that soldier boy. Oh. No, I think you can stay. Uh, bring your mic down to what it was because now we can hear you, the background chat. I can just raise okay. your volume on my end. Okay. Well, I just turned up my game. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hey, you. All right. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Um, me and Odo were thinking about what could be fun to do. And although gaming is nice and all, haven't you had enough of VTubers playing video games? Isn't that too often? Too many times? Too frequent? You know what's done a lot less? VTuber art streams. No one does that. I've never seen it before. Yeah, you've never done one either, right? I mean, I would 
I would say that I would I would beg to differ. But it's no, I don't think you. you've I don't think you've drawn before, but um... maybe not successfully. <laughs> All right, so Odell is here to teach me uh, how to draw. And if you have if you were at my last music stream, I believe it was the last one. Maybe it was the one before. Um, I showed chat the reference art I gave for my lore video, which you've also seen before. So they don't have high hopes for me. Oh. Um, but I think we can have higher hopes for you. And maybe you can uh, solve, you can fix me. And don't worry, Chad, I can fix me. <laughs> <laughs> she can fix me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, speaking of you, I've got your image pulled up right here on the side. And uh, Oh, are today, we drawing me today? Are we are learning we... how to draw me? Yes, we're going to be learning how to draw Reese. All right, everyone, open up, open up Emma's paint, everyone. <laughs> Everyone open up. MS Paint. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, not you. You're like a professional and everything. Yes, yes, yes. You have. Yes. I am professional. Thank you. Yes. You have Clip. Thank you for recognizing this. Clip something? Yes, yes. Clip Studio. I see. Uh, the superior alternative to Photoshop. Uh, anybody mm. who says Photoshop is better is a liar or a shill. Anyway. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, that, that's, that's lesson number one for drawing. Don't use Photoshop. Wonderful. Okay, so. Today we're going to be drawing Rias. We're going to be drawing his head. He's, he's got quite the head going on here, as you can tell. Like, let's just break it down into little chunks right here. Like, emotionally, not physically. Oh, okay. Here you see Good, I'm not head. being chopped up today. Not today. So. I'm just going to move into position. And I'm gonna write. First off, you don't draw with white on a white canvas because then you can't see what you're drawing. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I can't see anything. <sighs> exactly. So now, now I've switched it to a color you can see. Black. All right. Oh. Everybody following. <laughs> okay. I have my black uh, brush pen. Oh, that's not. That's watercolor. <laughs> Uh, is it this? Calligraphy pen. Calligraphy pen. Now, my first question to you is, uh, does your, uh, your, 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 uh, your MS paint have layers? Uh, it is not an ogre and there are no layers. Okay, this is gonna be, you know what? To simulate <laughs> the authentic MS paint experience, I'm going to merge all of my layers down. We're gonna draw this all on one layer. Oh, God. And I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm even gonna go for my pixel brushes. Let's go. Oh, I can. There's a pixel pen in here too. Every it... every pen in MS. Do you have like a really new version of MS Paint? Whatever. All right. This is Paint 3D. Paint 3. It has. Oh, do you want to see the the 3D library in Paint 3D? I can add a. You have an extra dimension. I can add a a shark. It's pretty impressive. Prove it. I I did. <laughs> oh, I missed that. He's spinning. Okay. We already right. got off topic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let me go back no, to the default we're just push. Up. Oh, Default well, marker brush. Okay, so I've got one layer, I've got one brush. I'm gonna start okay. with red. And for drawing a head, it's important to break it down into shapes. Mm -hmm. And Rias has got lots of shapes. I do. Some might say that he's a bit of a square, but that's actually a myth. He's actually got lots of circles going on. So, when you draw a head, start with a circle, start with an oval. He's got, uh, he's got a very delicate, uh, round, smooth hair. One might say that it's as smooth as his brain. <laughs> that's that's a rumor. That's a On rumor. my stream? <laughs> You're not refuting it. On my stream? <laughs> okay, hey, I'm the teacher here. 
Okay. I'm the teacher here. What I say is law. Okay, please go. Please keep going, Sensei. Okay. So this is really shirt. hard with the mouse. Okay. That's a pretty so, good circle. I would say so. Now we're gonna have Rias in his natural state, which is looking. You know, with a dead-eyed stare straight forward. We're not going to do any fancy angles. He's he's going to be looking dead into the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, dead cat. Yeah. So we're going to add some guidelines. We've got our red <laughs> guideline there, straight down the middle, and we've got our line also across the center. We're going for like okay. the crosshairs. You know, you know how like when you, you're playing a game and you've got a sniper rifle and you want to get someone boom between the eyes, we're doing that. Mm -hmm. for our, all right, so now here, you see that you've got a jawline. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab it on either side. We're gonna flatten out the edges of that circle. You see that? We're gonna make two lines. Mm -hmm. And we drag it down to the bottom of the circle. <laughs> drag those lines down to the bottom of the circle. And then yeah. connect them more lines here. Do you realize how hard it is to draw over my own line with my mouse? <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a skill issue, Rias. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Get good. No, but this is, this is why I'm teaching you. This is how you can learn. Okay, okay. So we've got our crosshairs, we've got our circle, we got, we've got our jawline. You've got your, your, your showing jawline. Yes? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've got that breakdown. Now you see where that line is? That's going to be where the top of your eyelids are. So we're going to look at the breakdown of the amount, you know, of uh, space you've got on your head. And we're going to estimate, all right, the bottom of your eyes are going to be around here. So let's draw another guideline okay. right there. Everyone now else is following know. around uh, along, right? Yeah, yeah. So now we know. This is a free art lesson. Yeah. How to draw this it's like those how to draw books you're gonna blink and you're gonna be highly detailed <laughs> wait what am i supposed to follow oh, well adele's giving step-by-step -step instructions and don't look at my half <laughs> all right so okay we've got that spaces that's where your eye sockets are gonna sit mm -hmm. now the rule of thumb when drawing characters no matter who they are, when they are, you can break rules, of course, but the general, the uh, accepted rule of thumb is you need an eyeball's worth of space between your two eyeballs. So if you look at, uh, look at, look at our beautiful faces here on the screen, you see that my eyes have an eyeball's worth of space between them and Rius, uh, even though his eyes are closed, he has an eyeball's worth of space between his eyes. I see. So here we've got our three balls. And so two balls on the side. We're gonna use as guidelines for the top of the lid and the bottom of the lid, the outer edge and the inner edge. And that's how we know where to sketch his eyes. His beautiful little fishy eyes. Deadpan, beady little little things. I feel like I so this was supposed to be an art stream, but I feel like I'm just getting insulted now. It, it, art is pain. Art, is that why you art? agreed to this stream? Yes. Oh. You, you say that as if the, there was any other, like, any doubt. So okay. I, I thought you were just trying to, you know, like, teach chat, like, how to draw, you know, how to oh, be artistic. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I am. I am. But, um... And, like I've already given them a good uh, a good tip on proportions. Mm -hmm. I've given them multiple good tips on proportions. Mm -hmm. But like, what's the fun in doing that if I don't get to like poke you? Like, come on. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So we've got that, and we can we can add some preliminary little sketch irises there. Now it looks like a whole lot of very weird stuff, but trust me, guidelines are important no matter what stage of your art journey you're on, whether you're just starting as an artist or if you've been doing it for 15 plus years, most artists 
uh, with their salt have under sketches and weird, scary looking monstrosities like this under their artwork. Now, what I'm gonna do, just so that it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna change my colors. I'm gonna move to uh, a blue now. I mean, you can use multiple layers if you like. Well, I'm trying to give them the authentic paint experience here. I, I'd hope that they have more than paint. Maybe. Maybe. You know, I could have totally downloaded GIMP for this, but I thought this would be funnier, so... I mean, to be fair, it is. Yeah. So, we, uh, we're sketching the outline of okay. those eyelids. Okay. Mm -hmm. An important thing to remember for eyeballs, like those funny little things that you see out of when you're drawing, you don't actually usually see all of the circle at one time. Usually you only see two thirds of it and the top bit is hidden underneath the eyelid. Uh, and if you see the whole thing, it's usually because the character is shocked or they're going crazy. Like if you look at your model right now, top part of, um, sorry, if you look into the mirror, top uh, part of your eyeballs are kind of hidden. Same with mine. So always keep that in mind when you're sketching. Your eyelid covers your eyeball. And an extension of that, you see where those circles peek over the edges of where we put our eyelids? That is where we're going to use a guide for the crease in your eyeball. Because in real life, that's how it works. The ball creases right there when it goes against your skull. So, we've got our eyes, we've got our lids. Brows are a very stylistic and personal thing. I like to make brows thicker, but I know a lot of people like to do just uh, thin, wispy lines. Um, I, for, the, for, all in, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna go somewhere in the middle. We're gonna have some surprise Pikachu looking eyebrows with uh, oh, a little bit of a little bit of girth. I need a better choice of vernacular mm. <laughs> all right so we've got uh, we've got surprise pikachu uh rita's eyebrows we've got his, his beautiful little beady water boy eyes uh we've got his his uh, delicately crafted eyelids now his nose since he's looking straight forward in torsals a little dealer's choice but usually it's uh usually it's in the middle of your face mouth placement is a tricky one um and it is a stylistic choice what you do but most of the time corners of the mouth size wise line up to the inner corners of your eyeballs mm -hmm. so lengthwise inner corner outer corner and uh position wise Again, dealer's choice, you can do what you want, but usually it's closer to the nose than it is to the jaw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move it up a little bit on the line. Make you smile. And maybe make you smile a little bit. It'll put you in a good mood. Yeah, no soup today. No soup today. Not yet. Yet. Yeah. And since I'm on one layer, uh, instead of erasing, because I can't do that because I've got one layer, I'm going to draw over my lines with white to erase it. Just, you know, pick up. Okay. Uh, this, is, tip, this, tip. Is, this is not looking good already. I can tell. I can tell where this is going. Pro tip, you don't need to do a whole straight, uh, straight line. You can do the, uh, the appearance of a line by doing two thick dots in the corners of the mouth. Those are called pips. And just dragging them in so they're slightly thinner and you've got a blank mm. space in the middle. Gives the appearance of a closed mouth without having a harsh line all the way across. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So I can just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, might have, I might have erased a little too much. Are you having too much fun here, Rias? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I just looked. I just looked at your screen. <laughs> I 
And moving on. <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. You're, you're, you're doing good, buddy. You're doing just good, keep buddy. going. You're doing great. Okay? We knew how Don't this would end. Just keep going. <laughs> you're doing superb. You... Water. What? Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> Did you just laugh? <laughs> I'm not laughing. Okay, so we're using the top of this, um, the circle as your hairline. And we're gonna take these edges, these side edges here of okay. the line that we extended mm -hmm. up earlier. We're actually gonna pull that up even mm -hmm. more and that's gonna be where your skull is. So we've got a hairline prepared. We've got a skull right there. And we're gonna use those as a guide for placing your hair. Oh God, another, another circle. <laughs> This isn't a circle, it's a curved line. It's a curved line. What would be What do you have against circles, man? Come on. Chat, yeah. this is so hard with the mouse. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, chat, Rhea, an important thing to remember when you're drawing hair oh. is that it grows. It does. Now, what does that mean? That means that uh, if you looked at a, a round ball in real life, not a round, but like a skull in real life, um, hair grows out of different places in different spots, and it comes out in chunks usually, and it has parts. Now that seems like common knowledge. That seems like give will no shit Sherlock. It's important to realize that when you draw hair, that it goes outwards directionally and intentionally from where it grows. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people will just draw hair willy-nilly because it's kind of in the right area. And sometimes they can get away with it because it'll accidentally be in the right spot. But one way to successfully place your hair every time is to realize, oh, if the bang is growing out of this root right here, it needs to move up and over and down and it this big part can't go past here and if i'm doing like the squiggly things here i can't have a big part past here everything has to start tapering after that because bigger parts where they come out of your head chat this is where this is where it's that one step right in the how to draw book where it starts getting complicated this is where, <laughs> this is where it's happening i'm getting lost already <laughs> I will dumb. I will. I will simplify it. Oh, you, you're about to say a different word there. I hair grow. Draw the grow. My hair flow actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Water spout. <sighs> you're, you're. You know what you're like. You're like a sprinkler head. You know, all those little dots. You know, and the water just kind of pops out of them. <laughs> Wait, so like if like for some reason your hair stopped like flowing out of your head, would you look like those Play-Doh extruder toys with like a billion dots on the head where the hair grows out of? I don't want to do the science behind my hair tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there is science behind my hair. That's okay, it's okay. Alright, so. So Step by step, Rias's hair breakdown. He's mm -hmm. got one VTuber bang in the middle. Everybody, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got a swooping bang off to the left. And since the root is here, we start the bang from here at that root line, that circle top from earlier. We don't start it below, we don't start it below, we start it from that line. Mm -hmm. And we carry it down over the eyebrow and flip. And we get the thick part and finish off. So we've got the flick part. We flick and flick, flick, flick. And there we've got two parts of the bang. Then he's got a sweet little part that's tucked under here. It goes just past his eyebrow. So that's bang three. So we got V to bang. Swish and flick. Tucked under. Now got his pieces of side hair right here. Hold on, hold on. I 
just got if you if you if you, if you just walk over here and you take a look you see this it's got these little pieces right here it breaks down into multiple chunks he's got one piece there one piece under there one piece right there the and one piece we're going to layer them. the one piece is real <gasps> okay <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> anyway so we break it down. We're going to do the big chunk here and see it ends actually near the bottom of his jawline. So mm. we're going to do that. We're going to pull it to the bottom of his jawline and pull it in a bit. It's being used to frame his face. And then we've got the second one that actually comes sneaking in from behind and wraps over top. So we've got one that's framing and one that sneakily tucks right near the tip of his eyelid. So we got one then the other side of the face got just one and it frames. You you look like you're in pain. Chad, this is really hard, okay? Don't play me. <laughs> Chad, this is really hard. Artist. It's okay, Chad. It's okay. I went into music, guys. Eh? Also, Chad asks, uh, can Rios' hair get oily? Does natural oil just slide off over time? Um, water does not mix with oil, so it just kind of, like, separates, you know? So, like on real hair, it kind of just sits on the top. It's kind of, it's kind of neat. Yeah, then I can just, like, grab a sponge and sponge out. <laughs> Wait, so, like, does your hair have, like, a solid state, or is it, like, water? Like, if I, if, hold on, if I just... I can go over right now and like I take my hand and I like stick it in there, would it like get stuck under the water or would it be sitting on top of it because it's solid ish? I think general consensus is that it was jello. So you're edible. No. <laughs> the consistency of jello, not actually you don't no 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 get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, no, no, I got, I have a, I have a, I, have, I am a serious teacher. I have, I have my, my duty of care. I am, I am. Snacks are for after class. All right. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> Chad, you have to hide me after this is over, okay? Like. Okay, so we've got his bangs out of the way, but he's actually got lots of side hair. So. Before we move on to the side here, we've got all of the framing done. We've got main face done. To do the rest of the hair properly, because he's got a very specific kind of haircut, we actually need to bring his neck into existence. So, what we're gonna do, we've got his jaw here. Now, neck thickness is a personal preference. Um, I tend to like to put it halfway between the jaw edge and the uh, tip of the jaw. And bring it in just a little, just a little bit thinner. You have necks. Mm -hmm. You can just pull it down. Taper it off a little bit. And you've got, and you've got that stylish black shirt. I'm just gonna. There we go. I'm just gonna swoop that in there so that you're not cold. It's really hot right now. <laughs> well, excellent. You won't get cold. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think the shirt is doing much to help with that. I think the weather's turned that on its own already, but... Okay. So, now that we've got this to kind of, like, help us with your hair placement, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get those big swoopy pieces. Now it looks like it just kind of curves in in one chunk, and curves in in another chunk, and then it actually breaks down into smaller pieces. But having big pieces helps to break to smaller pieces. It looks like you have one of those travel pillows at Granny's. <laughs> You cannot be saying that. I actually use one of those. 
They're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. Rias is a granny. Do you want sore shoulders on your flight? I don't fly. What do you want? I'm not a witch. Are, are you a witch? Sure, sure, sure. What are you? Sure, sure. Church the golden skeleton. No, I'm in the fantasy airplane. Oh, okay. All right. So we've got our big chunks, and we're actually gonna break them down. Is if you look at him, he's got these little flicks of uh, kind of sea foam where the water tapers off. And so using this as a guide, we're actually going to break it into smaller chunks. Pair that'll turn into sea foam. So you've got those, and those are the symmetrical ones. And now the non-symmetrical ones, you can kind of do it your own wild abandon. This is uh, where you can take creative license because these ones are meant to be more free flowing. I'm going to try and stick relatively close to his model, but feel free to do what you want. What's most important is the silhouette. As long as the hair uh, fits about the general size and shape of his head, it doesn't matter what the outside edges look like. As long as the main silhouette is pretty close and the bangs are pretty close, you can get away with doing pretty much anything to any kind of character design. So, I'm just gonna swoop on in there and give you some nice swoopy little waves. Swoopy late waves for a silly guy. For a silly little music man. Chat, chat. I wasn't paying attention to the last part. Can you show me your notes? What was that, Jello Boy? Oh, uh, nothing. Um... <laughs> I felt so. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, just so that it's easy for uh, everyone to see where we're at, I'm gonna. I know that paint has this. I'm gonna get the bucket tool. I'm gonna go to white, and I'm gonna bucket tool the red lines. Not all of them because we need that jawline, but all the extra guidelines that we're done with. just so that it's not visually too busy. And because we are doing this in one layer, usually we don't need to bucket tool it, but um, oh. <laughs> that would be uh, assuming that we're using a program with layers. We're not using layers, which is fine. I like drawing on single layers all the time. It's what you do in real life. Okay, so we've got this relatively cute and inoffensive Rius. You know, we can dream and fantasize. <laughs> okay, well, I won't. That wasn't as bad as some of the other little jabs today, so I guess I'll leave. I can leave that one alone. Oh, you're so generous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was not my intention there for a sec. Okay. okay. Let me get rid of the actual red. Yeah. I'm just going to draw over some of these red lines with the... There we go. So we've got we've got a really nice sketch of Rias with no hat. Look at how content he looks. You know what? He probably looks so content because he can't see and so he's zoning out. He has no glasses. Let's fix this. Nice is a word for this, yeah. <laughs> now, glasses are actually one of the more difficult things to put on a face without it looking weird. Because if you do it wrong, it can hide your eyes and look very strange um or they can just look like that you're wearing them wrong you have to find a happy medium for placement they can't be too far up your face such that they coat bottle your eyes and they can't be too far down your nose or it looks like they're falling off i would say usually the safest bet is to have the top edge of your glasses meet the middle of your eyes and you can drag whatever shape your glasses are. What a friendly looking guy. I have, you've never been this friendly looking to me. How come I have to make up you looking friendly? Uh, you're usually trying to eat me, uh, use my parts in a potion, uh, put me in soup, 
make my chat put me in soup, take my hat, eat my hair, <laughs> eat my hat. Water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. Also, I never made your chat do anything. They're doing that of their own volition. It's your fault for being delicious. All right. I see. All right. Got this nice sketch. Uh, let's include your hat as well. I was considering just like leaving this first part as is without your hat, but then the question would arise what happened to it? And uh, I feel like you'd get bitter. Yeah, I got eaten again. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna move this to the middle of the canvas for you know, nice and easy. Okay. Let's sketch your hat in green. Because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling green. Now, did you we'll have cover a, little... a pear today for lunch? No, but I actually really like pears. They're so underrated. Pear and fruit? Pears and nectarines. Now, hats are very difficult. Chad, you have to finish the joke. Joke. What joke? Hold on, let me look at chat. Chat, what are you doing? A pair of... Because I was supposed to be wholesome, I can't do that. Oh, Lil Pudding wants to see what Rias looks like in a top hat. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> I have the power. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play this straight. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna put you on a top hat, and I'm gonna make it look good. Okay. As this opposed to a... putting me in a top hat and making me look bad. Yeah. Well, okay. If I if I did it like this, yeah. That <laughs> that, that looks bad. No, no, no. We're okay. gonna put you in a top hat, but properly. Mm -hmm. Now this means you have to have a bit of understanding of 3D space, okay? If you've got Let's uh, say, this is the part of the art book that gets complicated. Let's say you've got a pineapple ring. Like in real life, you've cut up a pineapple, you've got a big piece of pineapple and it's circular and there's a hole in the middle. Hmm? Now imagine that's really big, okay? We're going to place that on your head and how that would look would be you've got the hole here at an angle, right? Mm. Right. And it's actually going to sit such that it kind of encapsulates a bit of your hair. So we've got pineapple ring hole right there, wrapping it there. And you've got the like the edge all the way around, all the way around, down, down, all the way around. Since it's a top hat, it'll be a bit of a thinner pineapple ring, right? With a bigger hole. Look at that, we've got that. So there, kind of got like a ring around your head. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, now, like an angel. Yeah. You're going to have one of those once I'm done with you. Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Anyway, so from the inside edges of your ring, we're just going to pull up some lines. Let's see? Yeah, we're, 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 it's punching out into existence. Yeah. All of a sudden, the pineapple is growing from the center. But there we go. We've got the top of that. It isn't a straight line. It's actually a bit of a curved line. But it doesn't look super curved. There we go. See, it's like a circle. Go over here. Top hats usually have decoration, like a ribbon in the middle. So we're going to do a little bit of a curved line right there. Rias with the top hat. <gasps> Wait, then you should have a monocle instead of your glasses. Hold on. Oh, God. Wait, let, me just, let me just white line out one of the sides of your glasses real quick. Chad, I'm not sure I like how, where this is going. <laughs> you can keep your glasses if you want, but I'm giving you a monocle. Because I want you to be dapper. 
You deserve the most dapper of attire. Gentle Rius. This, this is what you look like when you go to see the, uh, the Barbie movie with me. <laughs> me and you, we're, we're just going to be dressed to the nines. I did a lot of uh, space for headgear. If you go to like select, you can just select everything and drag it down a bit. Is what I did, because I also did it. Yeah. Well, you've got a bit of a shirt collar, so why don't we like return to the, uh, the shoulders for a bit. Mm. Just for a bit. You've got very wide shoulders, so they'll actually kind of go off screen just a little bit. Not all the way off, but, you know. There we go. We're going to... I'm going to just eyeball your model real quick. We're just, we're just doing some basic shirt collar. Like, like two trapezoids. Nothing fancy. All right, so we've got, we've got our monocle. We've got our top hat. We've got our very pleasant looking guy. All right, he is the most dapper, pleasant, gentle Rius you've ever seen. This is probably the the most pleasant you'll ever see him. Oh my god! <laughs> On my stream? On your stream, yes. Actually, why don't we put, like, CL on your top hat? That'd be so cute. He's just vibing. I, I don't remember what he looks like, so he's just gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait one like second, that. one second. I can give us all a good reminder, actually. After I finish making this trapezoid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. Lines are so hard. Doing... You're actually not doing that bad, all things considered. I hate drawing with a mouse. This is fantastic. Okay, let me put the hat back on. Now that we have a kind of a hat going on. And then I'll grab the scale. You killed my screen. I'm a murderer. Oh, wow. Hello, CL. Oh, wow. CL large. I could put it on chat. Oh my gosh. I love that. Now give me back my drawing screen. Okay, one sec. Let me put CL on chat first. There you go. All right. And while you're while he's on chat, just chilling, I will uh, use that as a reference to. I'm gonna change the color back to the blue so that I can see. There we go. I'm just gonna. And he's gonna be smiley. He's gonna be smiley. He's just. He's just a. He's just a cool little dude. Cool little dude who's excited to go see the Barbie movie. You are excited to see the Barbie movie, aren't you, Rias? Uh... There's only one right answer. Yes... Good, good. good. Okay, I live another day. I live another day. Peak cinema. Peak cinema. Peak recognizes peak. Alright. Mm. what we're gonna do now we've got all this we're going to make our line art lighter we're make it lighter we're going to grab a let's say since you're blue let's go we'll, we'll grab like a really light blue not a white but a light blue and we're gonna bucket tool all of these colors because we're on one layer and we're using a hard brush we're just gonna make it slightly invisible It'll take a little bit if you used a lot of different colors. But this will make it so that it's easier to draw with black over top. That way your eye isn't too confused. Chad, I think this is where I give up. <laughs> well, you can just follow along. Well, you can still draw with black over top of what you currently got, but I'm just doing this for sake of ease of visual. Mm -hmm. Okay. You 
know what? I'm gonna just so that we have something presentable at the end, add a layer for the black lines. But if you have all of your lines light like this, you can draw with black directly on top of it. It's just harder to delete all of the color at the end, right? Now, now that we've got our sketch, we've got all of our proportions, we've got everything we need, we go in with black, go in with our line art. Yeah. And you know, we're just gonna do free freehand, nothing super fancy. We're just gonna quickly go over top of everything that we've already done. We don't need to do anything fancy, special, stupendous. We're just we're just drawing a little bit of race together. Yeah. Other large S words. Splendiferous. Ah, oh, that's a big one. I know. It's like a five dollar word. Splendiferous. That one's not real, but I guess we can pretend. Pretending is is great. Like uh, like I pretend that you're funny all the time. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm 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 sorry. That one was actually a little mean. You're you're funny. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> You look shell shocked. On oh, my stream. <laughs> Don't worry. When you're on my stream, I'm sure it'll be just as bad. If not, I would be shocked. I'm just trying my best to draw over these lines, and you're just oh my god. I'm actually shocked how good this looks, Rias. Oh, they're all looking stunning as always. Yeah, true. Um. I think at the end I can like throw up a comparison of my uh, lore reference art again. <laughs> and then we can look at how much uh, I have quote unquote grown over the over the past few minutes. Oh, it's been about 40 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, if there's anything you've been able to take away from this, it's just always keep an eye on proportions and the more you draw the easier it comes to mind what to look for and it is a pursued skill the more you do it the better you get and if you don't do it you stay sucky hmm. so just draw and know that you'll make 50 bad artworks before you make one good one and then you'll make another 50 bad artworks before you make a good one i'm I am there all of the time, and your standard for what is and isn't good changes as you grow. Yeah. Also, how come Skell is way handsome, way more handsome than you? Like, what, what did, what, did, who did you piss off in a past life to be reincarnated to look like a dead fish? I don't know. Why is he so much cuter than you? Well, that's a that's a, that's a low bar. Low bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't phase me. I'm unfazable. I tried to hit you back for all this slander you're putting on my stream, but I guess it doesn't matter. In the eyes of the Greek skeleton god, we're all hideous. Fleshbags. Our beauty lies within. So are in you, our skeleton. So are you So are you done promoting your cult? It's not a cult. It's not a cult. There's there's no uh there's no uh have you ever heard of the bite model, actually? Oh. The bite model. It's what they use to determine what is and isn't a cult. So where does your skeleton religion land at that scale? Well, Bite stands for behavior, uh, behavior, I don't remember what I stands for, but it's in, there's like, it, it, the breakdown basically is, in the bite model, is that it's a behavior control, emotional control, financial control, and um, control over uh, the people that you're allowed to see. Mm. Um, in the Great Skeleton, the religion of the Great Golden Skeleton, um, while it is true that you do need to tithe to be able to, um, 
see our great Lord and Savior, uh, the Golden Skeleton, uh, we by no means uh, keep you from seeing your loved ones. In fact, we highly encourage that you bring them. Ah, so pyramid scheme too. <laughs> Excuse you, we don't sell garbage products. We just promise things. Like? Like eternal salvation. Sounds like a pretty garbage product to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it's a living. Okay, well... You gotta do what you gotta do for Dosh up here in the woods. I'm glad you're making one. Yeah, yeah, it, it is what it is, you know. It's... Yeah, I'm out here being a musician instead. Yeah, no, it's, it's rough. We got the artist and the musician. Like, it's rough out here in fantasy Europe. Like, uh... Not that I know what Europe is, you know. But, like, if Europe existed, this would be, like, somewhere in fantasy Mm -hmm. I've heard about it in Fantasy Costco. They have uh, travel guides. Oh, uh, yeah, for other fantasy locations. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Like, uh. Like Parliament. Yeah. I heard that they have a thing called government in the fantasy world. You know? Fantasy mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. I hear that they do things. you imagine? No, I just sit here instead. I'm becoming fancy. You are. You, you're becoming, you always were fancy. Mr. Fancy Pantsy. Alright, chat, at the end of the stream, um, everyone's putting your rear drawings into the illustrious channel on Discord mm -hmm. and or tweeting it so we can judge each other and I can feel like I'm not bad at art alone. I'm giving you a tie. A tie? Yeah. A tie with a fly. You... Just, just, just a tie. Oh, a tie. I thought you were saying like you were giving me like a tie with someone else like in... No, no. Uh, giving you a tie, a tie and a vest mm. because I think that you look very natural. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny thing, um, apparently people thought on first entry to my stream that my a little like blue line here was a tie. Yeah. Uh, so I also, it's just a part of the shirt actually, like a shirt. Oh yeah. I, I like. But they thought it was a tie because I just showed the like this part usually. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, it could be confused as a tie pretty easily. Yeah, makes Clearly sense. it was. Oh god, which where all the windows go? Are you Thanos snapping me out of existence? No, just your art. Oh, see all those have a mouth. That's okay. He's, ex he's an expressive little guy. He doesn't need a mouth for us to see how pleasant he is. Honestly, man, CL carries your stream. True. He just sits on my head, yeah. and then all the YouTube livers see the, uh, or YouTube live watchers, right? They yeah. see the little guy on my head, and they're like, oh, what a what a nice little guy on his head. And they join in. Pleasant little fellow. That's the only reason yeah. I have him on my head, of course. To draw in those people hovering over my stream. But you don't have him on your head because you genuinely enjoy spending time with him? He's very heavy. It's a full crab, actually. <laughs> it is a full hermit crab. <laughs> he, but he's just, he's just a little guy. I'm gonna give you like a, I'm gonna give you some fancy lapels. You don't have to do this extra stuff, guys. We, we, we already did the most important bit. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gussying him up. Yeah, she's making me handsome because obviously I'm not in, uh, normally, apparently. You, you're moderately okay, normally. That's as far as I'm gonna get. Oh my, see, chat, this is what I mean, right? This is the part in the art book 
where you blink and then suddenly it's actual art, but you have no idea what, what happened here. You watched me line art the whole thing. Here, we'll color yeah, it on I, one I layer blinked. under the line art. Seal of seal. Uh, I'm just gonna keep reading chat for a second and pretend that I didn't know what happened. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rios wears a robe confirmed. I do have a bathrobe for when I get out of the shower. Cause it's nice. Do you need to shower? You're made out of water. Yeah, well, like the the rest of my body isn't, and I can't just exactly hop in the lake. Then I'm gonna smell like fish. Have you ever tried washing yourself with your own hair? Um, never tried. Don't think it would work. Because if you pull off, my hair just turns into water. Mm. Mm. Only I'm problem is that I don't have a mouse, so I'm going to draw Rios on Photoshop with my finger. See, you're taking, you're doing challenge mode with me, right? Because mouse is already challenge mode, and then you have a finger. Uh, when I bucket tool my lines, there's like residuals of the lines and it makes it look awful. I apologize. You should have got, you should, we should probably do this on an actual art program in the future so you can do layers. Yeah, I, I cheated at the end and I uh, yeah. gave myself a black line art layer, so I have one layer. But, you know, you can still do everything. Odell has yeah. like the, the teacher buff where she gets to use like the the school sponsor programs and we're sitting here on MS Paint. I thought for sure that Paint 3D had layers. No, so Paint 3D's like main purpose is to allow Windows users to mess with their 3D assets. Also, MS Paint also doesn't have it. This is Paint 3D is just MS Paint, but with the 3D like library that you can add random 3D objects to it from. What color is the suit? Hmm? What color is my suit in this fancy dapper day? You know what? I will grant that privilege of decision up to you. Does blue look good on blue? Well, my scarf and my hat says so, but they're like a darker blue. I think we go with a darker blue. Okay, okay. I like to think my color scheme is moderately pleasing to I, look at. You've got a solid color scheme. I'm just gonna... Your eyes are very nice, but they're also very specific. What I mean by that is you've got three colors going on. You've got your your reddy orange, you've got your blue, and you've got your white. Mm -hmm. Why do I look like the host of a murder mystery game in your in your art? <laughs> I mean, whoa, are you saying that you don't want to be? Coward? Ah, uh, like yes. Be, I, actually, I feel like you'd be a great murder mystery host. It was oh, me the okay. whole time. I killed the first person, actually. Insert plot twist sound. YouTube.com plot twist sound. Plot twist sound effect. I'm gonna draw over some of the black liner with like orange because I can. That's not a very plot twisty sound effect I just played. Oh, there's a dramatic sound effect. There's. Oh. I've been wanting to go to. That's a Google ad. I need to mute that real quick. <laughs> the dramatic sound effect. Bye, Google. Blah blah blah. Ah, Google Calendar. Oh, this is Google Travel. I see. All right, now we can hear it. You know, one of these days- That was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One of these days, Google will actually serve me an ad for something I'm interested in, but today is not one of those days. So, I think um, the main problem I'm having is that they kind of label you, right? Mm -hmm. As, First, your age, 
and then by your interests. And your uh, age. I think I put it on my slideshow. My fantasy age. <laughs> 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 what you're just not you're not eternally uh you're not forever 21 you're, you're not eternally uh eternally random insert here no so Dang. uh just like just like a real asian um <laughs> i will look the same until 65 and then i'll randomly look like a grandpa you know what understandable Understandable. Have a nice day. Chad, she's putting okay. like lens, like lighting on the, on the monocle and everything. This is where we. This is where we lose. <laughs> this is where we lose Sorry. track of what's happening. Sorry, I got distracted. Let's uh, let's color your hair again. She's making it look like art, Chad. <laughs> what, what was I not supposed to? Chad. <laughs> what did you expect me to actually like sh uh, make make you look bad? Chad. I wouldn't actually do that. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, the outfit and change in hat for starters. They just mysteriously get defeated and is never seen again. Oh, the, yeah, the murder mystery posts. Oh man, it was my 99th, 17th birthday yesterday. Uh, that means you're still underage for the stream, and I'm. <laughs> We can't announce that. Rios is one of those elementary school teachers who say they are 21, but they are actually 64. Well, in that case, I would have one more year to lie about that, I guess, until I magically turn the Asian 65. Here, I'll send my art now. Yeah, I'll take my screenshot too. <laughs> actually. All right. Well, I'm just gonna. We'll just quickly... watch them, they'll do art things ah okay uh, i'll go faster <laughs> no, no 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 take your time we're here for the art lesson yeah well if you all watched me do skin earlier what i did is i did one base tone i picked I, like I, I got the same skin color and i went to my color wheel and i made it darker and then I made it a little bit bluer, and that gave me a pink. And so, with that, that was uh, how I decided what I was using for my shadows. It's best to use just a small amount of shadow underneath hair, unless you've got a real good reason, like super dramatic lighting. So just tiny bits of shadow under the hair to make it pop, and to, again, frame it. Aim of the game is to frame the emotion. And this emotion, I don't, I don't know what you're feeling here, but you're feeling something. Feeling um, snazzy. You're feeling snazzy. Well, that's because you are. You're very dapper. Uh, little right. pudding says, "Should I color on a different layer?" If you have the ability to have a different layer, go for it. Everything um, on another layer. Yeah. I'm doing my coloring on one layer to simulate the true uh, pain experience, but uh, I have my line art on a separate layer, so I have two layers I'm drawing with right now. But you draw and color as many layers as you like. Let's see. Let's I'm being I'm hands. being slandered by my Blue by my chat too. Light. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. I just checked the first so art. The transition shape. There we go. I just checked the first art. I'm being slandered by my chat too. It's well, why is your chat slandering you? You're so dapper. I thought my chat liked me. They, 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 you must be really entertaining to slog. I would know. I'll take it. You're, you're the most charming punching bag. It rolls off you like water off a duck. Everyone leaves with a smile on their face because their favorite clown made them laugh when he fell over. How does this make you feel? 
Well, I feel like I should be happy, but I'm still gonna cry. <laughs> Crying over it. Now, those in chat who uh, want to properly render water, um, it's honestly hit and miss, trial and error. I'm just messing around personally. I don't have a set, oh, you do this to simulate perfect waves because I don't have that formula. I'm just effing around and finding out. Um, general rule of thumb is that uh, water reflects off itself in a weird, interesting way, and it shades itself in a weird, interesting way. Kind of like um, when you see a bubble floating in space, like when a kid blows up a bubble from a bubble machine, or from those bubble ones. Um, the small amount of film that the bubble's made out of exists and it casts a shadow on top of itself. And so that creates a really weird situation where you've got the inside of the bubble, at the bottom of the bubble, there's a mini shadow and the top of the bubble, there is a highlight. So unlike a regular sphere, which would have the bottom edge shaded and the top edge light, it's the inside that's shaded and the outside that's light. So water is kind of the same way. If you look here, um, I'm going to color pick this blue. And we're actually going to go a little deeper and a little desaturated. And we're going to, you know, we're not going to color pick again. We're going to draw. And the in, underneath where that highlight line is, we're making it darker. That gives the appearance of, oh, there's something underneath the water. There's depth underneath. There's something inside the water. There's space under there. And that's because of the weird, uh, is it fracking? Fracking? No. What's it called when the light splits? Refracting. Refracting. Yeah. Reflecting. I don't actually know. I think it's. I think it's refracting. The light. Chat pop quiz. Uh, repeat literally anything she just said in the last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have a perfect uh, formula to draw good water, but I do know that um, the middle of it will be darker and the outer edges will be lighter. Oh, it is light refraction. Thank you. See, I, I was like thinking that I've heard that word before, uh, but I didn't remember exactly in what context. She's talking about how light being cast on a bubble slash water gets refracted by the surface. Uh, Plus one point to Wizard House that I'm probably not supposed to say because of copyright. <laughs> Shadow Money Wizard Gang? Plus one Shadow point to Money Shadow Wizard Money Wizard Gang. Wizard gang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got our water. We've got our dapper lad. Uh, let's uh, use this darker blue for CL's shelf because why not? And then we'll use a lighter. We're gonna make the actual art a little bigger, guys. Um, I don't know what everyone expected coming into today's stream, but um, I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> CL over. Oh. I remove CL and then I move him over. Because for some reason, if I pin something, I can't just move it again. CL part two, electric boogaloo. Yeah, we're focusing on your stream now. <laughs> All right. Can we just banishing everything to Shadow Realm? I have the power, apparently. This is my stream, after all. Uh, yeah. Regardless of how much Rhea's bashing there was today. You're a sucker for punishment, what can I say? Says who? Me. Oh. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Got our little seal. Oh, we should make your tie match seal. That'd be so cute. Oh, like a red? Yeah. You're, you and your buddy are 
you know, going out. It's a boys' night out, watching the Barbie movie. <laughs> There's two lads vibing. Chat, I need you to understand, right? It might just sound like she's just talking about it out of nowhere. She's been bringing up the Barbie movie since like two months before we debuted. Ever since it was announced, it just comes up once in a while <laughs> whenever she remembers that it exists. And I don't think she's even going to watch it. No, I am going to watch it. <laughs> I am. I promise. I'm going to be the world's most irritating person more so than usual. As soon as it releases. Man, Rios, you really like the Barbie movie? I will probably go watch it at some point, yeah. Just cause, just for like the, the amount of things I've heard about it. I might as well go watch it at this point, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, is the screen down? Nope, I was adjusting CL. And for some reason, if the Discord screen isn't in the front it just kind of breaks fantasy discord fantasy discord app mm. we all know that real discord isn't the thing true 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 i can't draw a circle is there a circle tool on photoshop um try your best like me or i assume there is one <laughs> just use the ms paint shape tool Honestly, uh, paint yeah. shape tool yeah yeah sky's the limit And I'll give you like the at least the light blue or a little stripe up there. A little stripey doo. -doo. Mm -hmm. Bucket tool, if you're using one layer and a heart a sharp brush is your best friend. Since hats are kinda round, we'll go a little darker just so that you've got like a, a little bit of depth right there. Um, just, just a little casual addition of depth. Mm -hmm. Shape tool saved me in my time of need in Gartic Foam. I do. I do think Gartic Foam would be fun. We'll have to find some other people to join in though, because I think the... The other people, yeah, no, they're not, yeah. Yeah, I think like the minimum amount of people to play Gartic Foam successfully is like at least four to five. So we'll have to look for some people to hop in. I mean, I know at least one person who would be interested. Yeah, we'll have but... to... We'll think about getting that kind of collab. Bigger collab soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll run it past... Um, we'll run it past uh, the... Uh, Management? The Wi-Fi wizard later. Yeah. Every person is another route? True. That would probably help. See, I look so happy. Because he knows he's gonna go see the Barbie movie with his best buddy. <laughs> Are you I, his best buddy? I yeah. like to think so. The bigger problem is, I think someone in this call is <laughs> going to murder me if I don't go see the Barbie movie now. So now I'm now, a little distressed. I would never commit murder. I would never. That's not... That's so cringe. Ah. Wait, are you saying you're gonna murder me? No. Bro. Bro, that's cringe. <laughs> Don't turn this on me. <laughs> I can't believe Rhea's murdered. That is Don't so Don't turn cringe. this on me, you... Chat, chat, that is so cringe of him. You potion maker that tries to chop off body parts of mine, specifically. I mean... It's not my fault that your body parts are perfect for potion making. You should be less delicious. Chad, I'm moving somewhere far away and never telling her where I'm, where I'm going, okay? Like, if I ever... If I end up telling you guys, like, I'm moving to Fantasy Japan or something, like, you can't tell me. You can't tell her. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at me like that? You know, tracking spells are a thing, right? Ah! <laughs> I mean, I'm not a witch, so I wouldn't be putting it on you. But, like, they are a thing. Chad, it's too late for me. You have to run away now. Come, let us, well, well, let us, let us all join hands in, in praise for our, our greatest sacrifice to the golden skeleton. See, 
scale. Can you, uh, can you help me uh, pin him down? Can you help me pin Rias down? Okay, yeah, you, you keep watch over chat. Make sure they don't run away. They don't come here. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. He's gonna be fine. Whatever I just injected him with won't have lasting effects. Chad, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> what? I can't have you running away. You know, I feel like I'm not going to be invited back if I keep acting like this. Uh, so I hope everyone enjoyed our one-time art collab stream. <laughs> stretchy do yeah vitamin gummy injection i already had mine today so i don't think i'm supposed to have any more actually i know that there's like a thing where if you have too many vitamins you get like a poisoning of sorts i am still very upset by the way because uh, i know i've brought this up in a uh in a meeting call at some point uh-oh but uh i have these vitamins these fantasy vitamins of course not real ones. Yeah. And they're called one a day. Okay. But the daily serving size for an adult is two gummies. Damn. So it's not Damn. one a day. That's false advertising. And I hadn't looked at the serving size until like two months ago. So I'd just been taking one this entire time. I can't believe it. I can't believe they tricked you like this. They lied to me. To you. How awful of them. Where, where are they? Let me have, let me have them. Uh, being sued in fantasy court now, apparently. Oh, that's where my fantasy lawyer went. Hmm. Hmm. I was wondering. Okay. Our little, literally our only skit that's been going on this entire time is just adding the word fantasy to everything. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have but... any other jokes. We have one joke that keeps coming back. VTubers have one joke. VTubers have one joke. Uh, potato soup poison. How do people feel about potato soup? I feel like... Isn't that just stew? So, my problem with potato soup, right? And if... I'm, I'm thinking about this right, and like there's like no meat in this potato soup. I've never heard of just potato soup before. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. But like, potatoes like have no flavor right they're more like a vessel for flavor no they've got like a starch kind of flavor yeah but like it's that's like it's like a very like that's kind of it right yeah so what do you potatoes. get from stewing just potatoes to make a soup well if you're stewing it you're stewing it with other ingredients that's usually how soups are done yeah but like if, if potatoes the main ingredient though well, I mean, if you're adding spices and this, that, the other thing, like, potatoes are the main ingredient for french fries, too, and all you're doing is frying them in oil. I guess that's fair. It's, uh, it's about what you add to it, not what's, uh, what the main carrier is. I eat the Flintstone gummies, makes me yabba tappa too. <laughs> uh, looks like there is cheese, veggies, etc., bacon, maybe, so it, so just oh, yeah, a loaded there's... potato, but a soup load of potato soup. I would rather have a baked potato at that point, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a fancy ribbon for your hat. Oh, a little ribbon. Yeah, he's, you're, you're, just, you're just a dapper little guy. Alright, would you look at that? We somehow ended up making Rias look like a gentleman. Chat, we blinked. <laughs> <laughs> we blinked and this happened. What happened? We, we prepped for the Barbie movie, that's what happened. I Skyrim woke up from my nap. You're finally awake. And now there's actual art in front of me. <laughs> Whoa, why is there two of Rias? Oh, true. One sec. What's the plural of Rias? Rias is? Rias I? 
I think it's Ri. So R I I. Yeah. Okay. Wait, would that be pronounced Ri? <laughs> For the sake of my sanity, no. <laughs> Rias with an apostrophe at the end. Well, I am very excited to uh, submit my beautiful Rias fan art to the uh, Rias fan art tag. What is that fan art tag again, Rias? Uh, I actually, so, funny thing, right? I was in a call, in a fantasy Discord call with my manager the, before debut, and we were thinking of tags. This is the only one that I was like, oh, that's actually kind of clever. The other ones, kind of a throwaway. Catch Rhea's life, it's a little cute, right? I got art commissioned uh, around it. Illustrious was the one that we came up with. That's very nice. It's like Illust and then with uh, R-I-U-S at the end. I was very happy with that one. Yeah, no, you, you have many flaws, but one thing you do have is a big brain. You had to, you couldn't have just let, we had to end with another one. Another what? I was giving you a compliment. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Surrounded in spite and deceit. Deceit? I could never be deceitful. I am, I am a woman of a cloth. I am nothing but honest. I've been nothing but honest. If you think I'm being mean, Maybe you just need to re-examine my honesty. Chad, I'm sending her home. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, don't <Odell. laughs> Wait, are you... Don't you push me out the door. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, I want, I, I, I want to take Ciel with me. You can't grab her. You can't grab him. I put an enchantment on him. I'm so sad. I just, I just, I, I just want I'm want to make him some soup. Want to make him some soup? Not him into soup, though. No, okay, good. No, good. no, we don't make him into soup. Good. That's your job. Oh. We 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 turn you into soup, not him. Can I also pass on this job? Please. Please. You want me to leave? You have to push me out yourself. Oh, okay, I'll get back to your spot. <laughs> um, later. Oh, uh, she's not leaving yet, sadly. I was gonna break out the skeleton joke, says Logan. Oh. So, if they're bad, what happens? What happens to? Uh, uh, re uh. Reword that. So if the jokes are bad, what happens? Does nothing happen? Does he does he get off scot free? Because um, apparently he's got skeleton jokes. Oh, got skeleton jokes. If they're bad, uh, Rias gets punished. Why me? <laughs> because it's your stream. Okay, well. Talk about you. You're the main character. Okay, well, get the good jokes, okay? Because, like, that first one doesn't give me much hope for my, um, my life right now. Uh, why can't skeletons play church music, says Logan. Why? Uh, because they have no organs. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that one. That one was pretty good. <sighs> I'm alive. Do we oh, stop yeah. while we're ahead? Are we getting another one? <laughs> head, you say? You know? Get back to your, get back to your spot. Get back to your spot. There's another joke coming, apparently. Okay. Uh, Logan again says, Who won the skeleton beauty contest? Me? Nobody. That was no, bad. I'm gonna leave no myself. Body. It's, 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 it's like a, it's, 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 it's like there's it's like there's no bot. It's like there's yeah. no body. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's like there's, it's like there's no. That stinks. <laughs> Get him off the stage. Anyone else got a skeleton joke, or are we are we ending on that one? Oh, you made him give a frowny face, and it's not even just a regular frowny face with the parentheses. It's a, it's the it's the lowercase c, the extra the extra sad frown <laughs> with the few extra degrees of curves. One person applauds. Yeah, that one person is Reese, because you know what, you guys are attuned to Reese's sense of humor. And you know what? That's that's lovely. I'm very glad that Rius has found uh, some tadpoles with a similar sense of uh, humor. As well. I'd, I'd agree, but I also found that pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is this is why me and you get along so well, buddy. This 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 is this this is why. Eventually, when I do uh, consume your hair and your hat uh, and whatever else is edible, uh, you will be missed. The Chat, why are we inviting? Why, why, why do we invite her again? <laughs> why do skeletons hate the cold from pudding this time? We should just have like a stream where it's like make VTuber laugh challenge and everyone needs to bring their best jokes. Judging by how we're going so far though, it wouldn't last very long it seems. Mm, I feel like what we would do is we would have like maybe a marshmallow that people would submit beforehand. Oh true. Oh we could tier list them! Oh we could tier list everyone's jokes! That sounds like a great idea. Let's see that in the future. I love that. I'm writing Speaking it down. Speaking of future streams, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I just realized, stream ish water. You stream. Oh, that could have been a water. live tag idea. That's that's crazy. I love that for you, buddy. Okay, okay. Before right. we continue, um, hold that idea for a second. Write it down because I know you're gonna forget. <laughs> but. Uh, one more joke from Logan. How did the skeleton know the other skeleton was lying? Skeletons are honest. Because he could see right through him. Ah. No bones about it. Somehow the follow-up made that ten times worse. Uh, <laughs> one more from Lil Pudding. What do skeletons hate most about the wind? Gotta hurry up with the punchline. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving her in. I'm pretty sure they're both taking jokes off the same website. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Well, we're waiting for the. Oh, oh, oh I got. Uh, <laughs> nothing passes through. <laughs> it sends a chill up this time. Logan, I like that. That that was pretty good. Okay, there we go. All right, what was your future stream idea? Oh, no, me and you discussed it, actually. Um, the inverse of what we did today. Oh, true. Yeah. So Adele gets to write a song next time. I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I survived today, kind of. So I'm sure you'll do great, kind of. <laughs> Maybe maybe I'll make some chill uh, chill bone rattles to uh, commit tax fraud to. Or something. I'll grab I'll grab some bone sounds for us then. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We wanna we wanna wrap up. Uh, well, it looks like there's one more skeleton joke, and what you said sounded like a mummy one, so we'll have to end with that this one instead. Uh, why did the skeleton go to the dance? Mm, why? to see the boogie man. Oh. Oh, brother, this guy <laughs> Okay, well, uh, with that one, 
I'll have everyone save the rest of their horrible jokes for the tier listing stream. I feel like these jokes are epic. Um, so anyway, we'll save it at the... <laughs> I'm just as bad at the delivery. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll save the rest of these for the tier listing stream, I guess. For when we tier list these great, wonderful, fantastic jokes. And maybe a few fish-related ones. Yeah, very bombastic. All right, everyone. Uh, Odell, it was a pleasure having you on my stream. Uh, it's always a pleasure being here. For most of the time. I don't know how to feel about the times I was getting slandered constantly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun whenever you do your music stream. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting great payback. All right, we'll figure out when that is at some point. All right, everyone, say bye to Odell. Bye, Odell. Bye. Bye. Yeah, get out of here. Bye. All right. I'll close this Discord screen share before uh, anything goes bad. All right, everyone, that was art time. Let's head back to the room, and then we'll end off for the day. Skella Wibble Wobble. <laughs> oh. Oh, onto the side, I forgot. For the thing. Uh... Move CL. Onto chat. CL's Rius? Yeah, I could have had him take my spot, I guess. Oh, two CLs now. There's one in the back, too. I guess I'll have to hide this one. Every time we go back to the scene, by the way, like, I just have to see that poorly photoshopped thing on top over there. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that was a great stream. I'm not going to lie. I expected my art to come out way, way worse, considering everything uh, from my actual art skills to the fact that I was using MS Paint on mouse and keyboard but uh i hope everyone else had fun too drawing and doodling i know you, some people were following along in chat if you were i'd love to see them in the discord um because i've been told to do this more often i will remind everyone that uh the youtuber the youtuber thing of please like and subscribe yay and leave a comment on the vod because it helps with the algorithm Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone had fun. T starting tomorrow, I'm going to be a little bit busy. Slam that notification bell. <laughs> uh, if you're in a Discord, you should get pinged every time. But I I have noticed that uh, ping cord is a little slow sometimes. Like a few days ago, I had a stream and it pinged everyone about an hour after it had started. So uh, definitely the YouTube notification is probably the best way to keep track. Okay, um, rest of the week's schedule. Let me just grab that image real quick. Where is the schedule? Oh, here it is. Uh, here's the rest of the week's schedule. Like I said on Twitter earlier and in the Discord a few times, I'll be a little bit busy this week, uh, working out some moving things. So not as many streams as I'd like, but uh, on the brighter side, I do have hopefully a short coming out tomorrow and one on Thursday. Hopefully. Possibly, maybe. Um, the editing is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would because I didn't have a good shorts template. So if there isn't one on Tuesday, expect one on Thursday. And then possibly one on Saturday if my other editor gets back to me on time. But. Uh, outside of those three days being missed tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, on Friday I'll be doing a uh, music collab with Zuni XL from uh, Next Stage Project, I think. I hope I hope I said that one right. Um, that's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna say exactly what it is quite yet, because it's supposed to be a little bit more of a surprise. So that is going to be at 7 p.m. on Friday for Eastern. Daylight time. Is it daylight savings time right now? East Coast time. East Fantasy East Coast time, 7 p.m. 
Um, and then Saturday, I'll do a music work stream. And then on Sunday, we will finish melatonin. So that should be the week. So I don't think I missed anything. That should be right. Checking, checking out some notes real quick. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you all for dropping by. I hope you all had fun with Odell. Um, Odell should be streaming at some point later this week. I don't remember her schedule. I don't know if there is one. <laughs> but if there is, I'll try to uh, link it later. So drop by her channel as well. Make sure to subscribe with her. Follow her Twitter. It's in the description. It was a very fun stream. And then hopefully we do that uh, teaching Odell music stream later as well. I'm going to spend the next hours on Rios' drawing law. Oh, well, I hope it comes out well, or at least um, at least better than mine. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for dropping by. I'm going to go take a shower because it's hot. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good night. We're going to get one up. Yeah, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> good night, everyone. Thank you all for dropping by. And I'll see you next time. Good night.